My brothers and sisters, wake up. Jesus is coming back. You do not have time. Stop living your life undevoted to God. Stop telling yourself, I'll choose God later. I'm going to live freely right now and I'll pick him up later. You don't even understand how big of a mistake you're making. Stop living your life like you'll choose God later. Some of you believe in God. You say you believe in God and then you still live in sin every day. You have no repentance life. And I just want to let you know that you are making a grave mistake. First Thessalonians chapter five. The day of the Lord. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. The day of the Lord is going to come just when you thought, I'll sin a little bit more. I'll sin today and I'll choose God later. I'm going to do this one more time and I'll pick up God later. Just when you say that that sky is going to break open and your soul is going to be ripped right out of your body. And all you have to do is make a decision to follow God. It's that simple. But you want to live for the world. So understand that you do not know when your heart is going to stop beating. See, that don't scare us enough. We think we just going to live. We think life just going to go perfectly. How about the people that made plans for today and didn't make it to today? You do know that happens every day, right? You do know someone today that is making a plan for tomorrow is not going to make it till tomorrow, right? So go ahead. Keep thinking you can choose God later. But understand, when that sky breaks open and Jesus comes back and you were an unbeliever, you will not be able to escape your fate. And all you have to do is choose God. And you know what? It's simple. It's a hard walk. But it's simple. You choose God and his grace is so powerful. God isn't asking us to be perfect. He just wants us to choose him and put him first in our life. He ain't asking you to be perfect. If he needed you to be perfect, you wouldn't need God. All he's asking you to do is have a relationship with him. But you don't even open this. And oh boy, if you knew what, what fate was waiting on you. If you knew, you would choose him. I hope this is hitting somebody's heart. Don't wait to choose God. Choose him now. You don't have tomorrow. Choose God today. Wake up. Wake up. This world is going to tell you everything differently. But oh boy, God is real. I've seen it. He's changed my life. I've seen what's on the other side of choosing him. I was you once. I was living for the world. Saying I'll choose God later. And that was the worst mistake I could have made. Do not let this go one ear and out the other. Choose God today. Your eternity is dependent on it.